Hey, what's going on everybody? Jump Rope to Freedom. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a review of an in-home medical testing service called Let's Get Checked. Full disclosure here, a couple months ago, Let's Get Check reached out to me to see if I'd be interested in some sort of partnership with them. What they did was they sent me a free male hormone test because on this channel I would never try to promote something that I hadn't tried. So they sent me a free test, I took it, and this is a vlog slash review video that goes through the process of me taking the test, dropping it off, getting the results in the app, and everything that goes with it. Now, if you want to try Let's Get Checked and you want to support the channel and support yourself, you can check out the link that I'm going to put in the description and the video. You can enter the code JUMP30, J-U-M-P-30, for a 30% discount on your in-home test, whichever test you choose. Let's get into the vlog slash review. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. Let's do this. So this is the male hormone let's get checked test unboxing and execution. It comes in this little box here. It comes in discrete packaging so nobody knows what you're getting. And they have a whole host of tests that they have on their website that they can send you, then you send it back. This is my first time actually opening the box and seeing what's inside. So let's see what this is. Okay, looks like they have the instructions here that go over what you have, the blood samples, the materials that are enclosed in the box. I think reading the instructions is important in the beginning because you want to make sure that you don't send off your sample on a weekend because of the mail, because you actually have to coordinate with UPS to do everything. So that's what I'm going to do here. I got the instructions off to the side, and I'm going to coordinate how to return your sample. You got to visit the UPS website. I can see that this can be a bit inconvenient to do this. The UPS near where I live is super slow. I actually got out of line one time because of that, but I might be able to actually find a drop off point, which would be better for me. So that's what I'm going to do now. The next thing that we have here is the code. And so what I have to do now is activate the kit. So you gotta go to letsgetcheck.com slash activate. What I did was get the kit, well not the kit, the app. And I'm going to download the app because what I want to do is be able to access information quickly on my phone, but also I can scan the barcode so that I can activate the test. Because that is step three in the process is to activate the test. I think that initially one of the advantages here is going to be being able to access health metrics quickly, which is something that is desired, especially in the United States, when it takes upwards of a year to get an appointment with some people. So I think that 
the trade-off is you got to pay for this out of pocket. I'm not sure if insurance covers it, but you get answers to your questions and you don't have to wait for somebody to get an appointment. And if you have a serious illness, then that might be too late a year to get a physical. A lot of times serious illnesses are discovered through physicals that do these same type of tests. Taking the test is fairly simple. One thing that I failed to do was to have everything ready. What I did was rush through the process, which I would not recommend. I recommend getting everything ready, reading the instructions all the way through first, then getting everything ready and then actually executing the test. I didn't have the gauze laid out, which truly did slow me down. And it caused me to take four tries with the Lancet, which was my fault. What I'm doing now is I'm putting the phlebotomy device on my third finger, which is the finger that they recommend that you use to take your blood sample. And as I said, I should have read all the instructions beforehand and then kept them out with me like I'm doing now. But getting this device on was easy to do. And what it does is it vibrates so that it concentrates more blood to the top of your finger so that it's easier to take the blood sample because you do have to prick your finger with one of the lancets and then empty the blood into the small sample tube, which you will observe me doing during this clip. So that's what I'm doing here. After my finger went through the time frame that they recommended, I believe it was three minutes, I got the Lancet out after this clip here and you see me showing the device on my finger that helps the blood concentrate to the top of my finger. That's the Lancet that I have in my hand there. And once the time frame came up, I used the first Lancet and I ended up having to use all four of them, which was my fault. One, because I wasn't proficient in taking my blood sample and two, because I didn't quite follow the directions all the way through, both my fault. I needed to take my time. So once I was ready, this is me right now. You can't see in the film, but I'm actually taking the sample now and using the Lancet on my finger. The pain level was not high at all. It was actually less painful than when a technician takes blood, for me at least, whenever I go to get a blood sample at the local physician. It was less painful than that. And what you see here is this is proof that I took the test. I'm emptying the blood into the sample tube, and that's the way they want you to do it. You want to contact the blood on the side of the sample tube and then let it empty in. So this is how you take the test, fairly straightforward. pretty easy I went to the I went to the wrong CVS at first because I normally don't drop off too many packages so UPS has all these access points around here so I went to the wrong CVS there is literally a CVS on every corner 
up here. Every corner there's a CVS. There's got to be at least 10 within a couple square miles, excuse me, of where I live. So that was pretty easy. Find a drop off point, get the test done, get it taken. Took a few tries with the Lancet, but overall, not bad at all. I think that if I take more of these tests, I'll be more proficient with it as time goes on. So I'll catch you in the next part of the video. Peace. watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to give you my honest review of the Let's Get Checked app, the Let's Get Checked service, everything that goes into it, everything that you just saw. The first pro that I have is that the app works well. It's easy to download. It was quick. It was responsive and it does integrate well with the service. It gives you updates after you send your package away. It gives you updates as soon as they have your tests available all around. I think that they've done a good job crafting and writing the software that goes into making the app work. Software these days is becoming more and more important and functionality of software is helpful. If you have a service, you're always gonna expect these days to have an app that goes with it. Many times you'll get a service or you'll have a product that has an app that is written poorly, the software is written poorly, and it truly does make a difference in how easy the product is to use if it has an accompanying app with software that must go into it. So the software and the app is excellent. I think they've done a good job and it makes it easy to use the Let's Get Check service. I like that with the Let's Get Check service, it's seamless. They send the shipping material to you. You don't have to think too much about it when it comes to shipping the test off. It was difficult to figure out the UPS drop point to figure out how to arrange a drop off or a pickup. So I elected to go to my local UPS drop off point and I actually learned something new. I didn't know that CVS had drop off points in partnership with UPS. So I learned that. So even going and doing other things where I have to use UPS, I'm not gonna wait at the local UPS because the line is always so long. I can simply go to CVS because they have a partnership with UPS and use that. So I did learn something new, but I do like that they've thought through the shipping and that they make it as convenient as possible for the shipping. As soon as I found the UPS drop-off point at my local CVS, it was, less than a mile away from my house. So I drove over there, gave it to the cashier. She knew exactly what I wanted to do. She knew exactly what I was talking about. And the test successfully made it to the Let's Get Check testing facility seamlessly. So the way that they've been able to integrate the shipping and a partnership with UPS is remarkable. And it makes it a lot easier to get the test complete. I do like the fact that the results are quick. I believe I got my results back within a couple days. So it works similarly to going to your local physician's office and getting a physical. The results are normally posted fairly quickly, but it's different in the sense that you never meet the physician, you never meet the technicians who are taking your blood, you're doing that all on your own. So I think that the response and the availability of the test is about the same as you would experience with a local physician. But the fact that you never meet them and all of a sudden after you take the tests, the results magically appear within a day or two, I think is nice as well. So the response time, the availability time is about the same as your local physician physician normally in the physicians that I've had the results of different blood tests and lipid tests are normally available fairly quickly within 24 to 48 business hours but I do like that they maintain that same standard and that once your tests 
arrives at the facility, then they work hard to process your tests and give you your test results quickly. I think that the most profound advantage of Let's Get Checked is that you do not have to wait for an appointment. For me, I know that in the past, I've had to wait sometimes upwards of six months just to see a provider. And that can happen if you're in a situation like me and you're stationed at an army post where there are not many medical facilities where there's not a large military presence. If you're stationed in an area like Fort Bragg or Fort Campbell, you're going to normally be able to get an appointment fairly quickly. And I'm just speaking for people in the military. I think that I'm experiencing more of what happens on the civilian side where it is much more difficult to get an appointment quickly. And the reason why I like Let's Get Checked, and this is probably the most advantageous piece of Let's Get Checked, is that you do not have to wait for an appointment to get traditional, simple, conventional blood work done, like a cholesterol test, a lipids test, any of the other tests that they have, a cortisol test, you don't have to wait for an appointment. Your insurance doesn't cover it, so it is going to cost you, but many times, you can discover in a physical or one of these traditional tests that test your lipids, your cholesterol, what have you, that you have a serious problem with your health and then you can take action to get seen more quickly. But with one of these traditional tests, it can be hard to get an appointment quickly. So I do like that Let's Get Checked. It cuts out the variable of waiting or having not to wait for an appointment to where you don't even have to make an appointment. You can order the test. It does cost money. It's not covered by any insurance as of yet, but that the price is what you're paying for the convenience. I do like this. This is probably the best part of Let's Get Checked is that it cuts out the middleman. You don't have to wait for an appointment. You can simply order the test and get the results quickly so that you can make an actionable decision based on what your test yields. Now we're gonna talk about the cons, although holistically I do like Let's Get Checked and I think that they offer a lot of value with their service. There are some cons, some disadvantages that I must point out in this video because no product is perfect and there are some things that I think they could work on to improve the product. The first is that it is expensive, especially if you're repeatedly ordering tests. I know on their website they do have a discount if you elect to buy a subscription, which is nice, but it's still expensive. If you have robust insurance like I do in the military, then it can get to the point where you're paying for all these tests that you could get covered under your insurance that you could essentially get for free. Now, I did speak in the pros that you do not have to wait for an appointment, but if you are not in a situation where you're having to wait for an appointment and your insurance doesn't cover, let's get checked, then you are truly throwing money out the window if you don't have to wait for an appointment. Think that it is a bit expensive, especially if you're going to re be repeatedly buying tests. And if you do have robust insurance that covers most things and that you can get the service for free, I think that it could be a waste of money in that regard. Now, if you don't have insurance and you don't mind paying over and over again for the test or doing a one time, then I think it's a perfect product for you. But the con for me, and everyone is in a different situation with health insurance. Health insurance is an extremely complex topic in most first world countries, particularly in the United States, and I would say everywhere. Then you have to evaluate the situation that you are in and make the decision for yourself on whether you wanna keep spending money to take these tests, which you shouldn't be doing too often, but you could want to run a full battery of tests every year and that could get expensive. Another con is that the UPS setup website did not work well with the app. And I don't know if that's something that Let's Get Checked could remedy 
and find a solution for or if that is a problem with UPS's interface. Either way, the UPS drop-off link that they gave did not work for me. It got to the point where I had been messing around with it for about five minutes and I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna drop it off. I'm not gonna worry about scheduling anything. I'm just gonna drop off the package at the local UPS drop-off point, which is right next to my house, which I discovered after doing a bit of research with UPS drop-off points and partnerships with CVS. I ended up doing that. I learned something new. But an improvement that could be made is perhaps Let's Get Check could reach out to UPS and try to understand what is happening with the drop-off point feature of UPS's website. Because the attractive piece of Let's Get Checked is that it's convenient, it's easy, and it's fast. The interface with the UPS website definitely was the opposite of all those adjectives that I just used. My third and final con is that you really, truly have to read the directions, especially pertaining to when you can take the test. And when you can take the test, it's limited to Monday through Thursday because those are business days and a lot of times packages don't do so well traveling over the weekends. Plus, my assumption is that the technicians who process the tests at Let's Get Checked work on the weekdays, which they should. Everybody needs a break. But you can only take the test at a certain time of the day. For me, it was Monday at 0800, 8 o'clock in the morning, because if you try to take it later in the day, first off, there's some physiological problems with that, because when you take your blood, you want to be in a fasted state. So you want to take it in the morning. And also, if you drop it off later in the day, then the pickup time for the UPS person might have passed for that day. So your test will be laying dormant in an uncontrolled facility where it could be subject to the elements, especially if it's hot inside the area that you drop it off. If it's too cold, blood could become subject to the environments and it could degrade the quality of the blood, which will erode the quality of the test. So there are specific times that you have to drop off, take the test first and then drop them off. So you have to do it in the morning and you can't do it on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So the window is limited and you could say that the same is true with taking a physical going to your doctor's office. There are certain days where the doctor is available. They're not going to work on the weekends. So it's very similar in that regard. But also when you think of something you do at home, if, if something is advertised to you as an at home test or an at home service, then the implication is that you want to be able to take that test whenever you want to. That is not the case with let's get checked both because of mailing constrictions, mailing limitations, but also because of the quality of the test and the quality of your blood sample depends on the time of day that you take the test. So you just have to keep that in mind when you, if you decide to try Let's Get Checked, you have to keep in mind, you must read the directions, especially pertaining to when you can take the test. Overall, I think that this is a great service for people who have the money to pay for it or for people who do not have insurance or people who do not have robust enough insurance plans to cover the types of tests that Let's Get Checked offers. I think it's a great tool. It is simple. It is easy to use minus some of the drawbacks that I went over in the cons section. Another thing to consider is that Let's Get Checked is only available in the United States, the United Kingdom and Ireland at the time of this recording. It's not covered by any insurance, so you will be paying out of pocket. I don't know if there's a way that Let's Get Checked can work with insurance companies. If they could do that, that might be profitable for them and it would likely attract more customers. But maybe that's something that they'll do in the future. I think that the true 
advantage with Let's Get Checked comes when there is too high a demand for medical appointments and not enough doctors to go around, which I think is a problem, especially in the United States where it can be difficult to even be seen for a physical. There's been times living here where I have tried to make an appointment and they schedule me a year out. Granted, you only need to take a physical once every six months if you are healthy, but something could arise, you could be feeling bad and if you can't get in to take an appointment and nobody will see you, then maybe it's a good idea to take one of these in-home tests. It might be able to isolate and identify what's happening with you or at least give you the information you need to say, hey, I have a problem with this. I need to see a doctor right away. Now, you could always go to your emergency room, but some people don't want to go to the emergency room. So I think that being able to quickly get results that can give you valuable information about your health is the key and the primary advantage to let's get checked. Hey everybody, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. It was a bit different from a lot of the content, a majority of the content on the channel, but I think that this is a valuable product that a lot of people could take advantage of that could give them valuable information about their health. I took the male hormone test. I would never talk about a product or become an affiliate for a product that I did not try first. I don't believe in that. I must try every product on this channel before doing a review or being affiliated with it or anything along those lines because if i'm not all that does is degrade my credibility if you are interested in trying let's get checked i left several descriptions in the link below on the tests that i am planning on taking in the future the male home run test that i did take a couple months ago and also if you use that link and you use the code JUMP30 at checkout, J-U-M-P 30 at checkout, then you will receive 30% off your test. So you'll save a good bit of money there and you'll get some valuable information about your health. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, jump rope to freedom. Peace. Thanks for your support. Take care.